When the lights go down on Broadway. So the lights went out in Venezuela, you heard? Blackout in Venezuela. It was, it's, it's retaliation. Retaliation. It's Guaido sneaking in there, cutting the power cord. He's cutting off the Venezuelan people. Wow, it's no joke, man. Venezuela plunged into a blackout last night. 23, 22 out of 23 states or areas, whatever, blacked out totally, man. This fucking shit is crazy, man. Is it warfare? Let's take a look. So here we go. Venezuela plunged into darkness amid widespread outage. You know what? Let's watch some video first. I got some video clips before we even talk about it. So this is Venezuela. Uh, no lights. I'm gonna blow the red light now. Look at that shit. Hmm. Makes it tough getting around, right? No fucking traffic lights. The only thing that's powered is the cars. Where's all the hungry people? Where's the starving people when you when you pan around into Caracas? I, I thought they were eating out of dumpsters, man. It looks like fucking. It could be. It could be any city in the in the world, right? It looks like Asian cities. It looks a little bit like, you know, like Singapore, Thailand, one of those places. But you see, the lights are out. No power. Still spirited people. No looting. They're fucking... They're civilized people. God damn it. No lights. All right, so was it... Is it warfare? I guess that's the question, right? Venezuela, huge power outage leaves majority of country in dark. That sucks. That's scary. Scary. I remember what happened in the, it happened here in New York when the, one night of blackout. It was just like, whoa. Break out the candles. It's actually very romantic. Ah, you break out the candles. So that's what, it, that's what the darkness looks like <laughs> in Venezuela. Now, again, there's a civil war going on. Potential, not civil war. There's a, a, a failed coup. From the outside, Elliot Abrams and the, and the rest of the Trump's swamp, John Bolton and fucking Mike Pompeo and, and uh, Steve Mnuchin, uh, the Goldman Sachs Secretary of State, who's looting the country, looting, loot, why are the lights out? Fucking go, go ask Steve Mnuchin for the money back, right? They just stole all of Venezuela's fucking oil money, right? So <laughs> widespread, I digress. Widespread blackout. Much of Venezuela plunged into darkness Thursday evening, creating chaos as people struggled to navigate their way home amid what appeared to be one of the biggest blackouts yet in a country where power failures have become common. The power outage began as commuters were leaving work. Hundreds crammed the streets of Caracas, forced to walk because subway service was stopped. A snarling, a snarl of cars jammed the streets amid confusion generated by blackout spotlights. <laughs> Here's where it gets good. Nicolas Maduro blasted the outage as an electrical war <laughs> directed at by the United States in a statement on Twitter. His information minister, uh, Ore Rodriguez, said right-wing extremists intended, intend on creating paramonium by leaving the South American nation without power for several days were behind the blackout but offered no proof. All right, so they're lodging allegations that it was electrical warfare. And it's, it's also stated as being, I don't know if AP is correct, but they're saying that blackouts are common and then another blackout happens and it was uh, the right wing, whatever, the, the uh, conspiracy theory, but no proof is offered. So there's no evidence to suggest that it is an electrical war. Although the president is saying it, but provides no proof. In our country, if Trump says something, it's got to be true, right? Well, I don't know. A little bit of patience, Rodriguez urged on state television. If you're in your home, stay in your home. If you're a, in a protected space or work, it's better for you to stay there. All right, so they're, they're dealing with it. But as night wore on in Caracas, patients were running thin. <clears throat> Residents threw open their windows and banged pots and pans in the darkness. Some shouted out explicitives and Maduro's name in a sigh of mounting frustration. <laughs> so Again, this is AP propaganda, right? <clears throat> no one, that's some. When you say the word some, this is fake news, right? This is a fake part of the news where they're spinning. 
But that's all we have, you know. What am I going to do? Go to fucking Venezuela? You get put two thousand dollars in my in my PayPal account. I'll get on a plane. I'll go to Venezuela. And otherwise, this is all we have. We have to look through the fake news to find the actual evidence of uh, sanity. You know, the real evidence, right? So some shouted, "Maduro did it! Maduro! Fucking Maduro!" That's bullshit. That's a total bullshit line. The outage comes as Venezuela is in the throes of a political struggle between Maduro and opposition leader Juan Guardo. No, there is no, there is no struggle. Ninety percent of the people in the country. Let me play this video. Right? Oh, I got one more. Here, check this out. This is brilliant. I love this fucking shit. In the hills of northwest Caracas lies the poor neighborhood Ventitres de Enero, a bastion of support for Hugo Chavez and his socialist revolution. I thought he has no, I thought he has, Hugo Chavez was before, just for historical, before Maduro, right? Hugo Chavez came in in 99, he saved the country, pulled him out of the grip of imperialism, right? And declared a revolution, right? Six years. People are still loyal to him. Years since his death, many here still mourn him. Like Elizabeth, who's created a shrine to the former president. She remains loyal to his successor, Nicolás Maduro. We're going through a major crisis right now. We must continue to support Maduro so we can improve the situation we're in, which is all a result of an economic and political war against us. This neighborhood, like many... An economic and political war against them. Even the poorest of the poor know the truth. Imagine, right? I mean, they know they know what's going on. It's not oh, the only idiots that don't know what's going on is the fucking idiots on Fox News repeating the same bullshit talking points. Across Venezuela is home to Bolivarian militias, an army of volunteers founded by Chavez to fight against insurrection and defend his ideals. If it's necessary to take up arms, we'll do that. We have no choice. We have to defend the country however we can. These are patriots. These are patriots. These are not communist, socially, commie, commie little socialist, you stupid people. These are patriots fighting for their country, fighting to defend their president, fighting the, the vast majority are with the Venezuelan president are with the Venezuelan president. Now, is a blackout, I know I'm digressing, but is there blackout, does the blackout, blacking out Caracas or, to, you know, to 99% of the country would be a good way of, of, you know, fucking with the country? I don't know. I mean, I, the United States is right on the border. Can they, can they, can they paralyze the, the power grid from abroad? I, I don't know. <laughs> It's, it's possible. The point is that patriotism is on the rise. The more the United States pushes and tries to to invoke it, to inject itself into the discussion to steal the oil, the more patriotic people become. The more uh, call, uh, uh, the greater the call to arms becomes. You start a civil war. And it's not only here in this emblematic area that people still support the revolution led by Hugo Chavez. Other Venezuelans, too, reject Juan Guaido, the opposition leader who declared himself the legitimate interim president. Where's all the hungry people? Where's the people eating out of the dumpsters? Where's the starving, starving people? You know what a starving person looks like? They can't walk. They're ribcage. Go, go look at some of the images in Africa where people are really starving. This is not fucking humanitarian, a humanitarian crisis. It's an economic dilemma, right? And and Elliot Abrams, we're defending the fucking the fucking the Jew logic, right? We're fucking. How much are you? How much are they paying? How much is Trump paying Elliot Abrams to lie about the situation? Ongoing Pompeo, fucking traitors. You're fucking traitors. Elsewhere in the capital, people have been celebrating the carnival period. Wow, she's hot. Rather than joining opposition protests. Many here don't feel Juan Guaido represents them. 
The Venezuelan people you can see in the streets. This shows you the peace and happiness of the carnival in Venezuela. It's nothing to do with the lies of the usurper, Mr. What's his name again? No one will remember him in history. No one will remember him in history. Did you hear that guy? He's a it's a it's a fake. He's a false prophet. He's a phony Guardo. Juan Guardo. The the transplant, the CIA spook. They should string him up, man. They're actually being rather gentle, in my opinion. They should have locked that fuck up a long time ago. Venezuelan. I recommend the Guaido come back down to earth. He should give up on his plan and start doing politics properly. With the carnival now over, more crowds will soon be on the streets. Both the opposition and Maduro's government plan to hold rival demonstrations on Saturday. In the hills of northwest Caracas so, lies the poor neighborhood. Okay, shut up. So, where am I? Yeah, so so there you go. So you got this. So you got this blackout, right? You got this blackout shit going on, man. Let's fucking learn this story right here. So blackout in Venezuela. Is it a electrical? Is it electrical warfare? Did someone attack the power grid? There's no evidence of that. Is it possible? Eh, a little possible. Somebody leaned on it. Somebody threw threw a co- you know fucking threw the coffee on the grid or something. <laughs> Right, it's possible, but there's no evidence to suggest it. But anyway, um, I don't know. But uh, you know, Venezuelan people. One of the takeaways is that there's no looting going on. No one's killing each other. You you see the images, right? You see the images of Venezuelan people. They're not underweight. They're not malnourished. They're not eat, climbing out of dumpsters. It's a vibrant city. Even in the even in, when you plunge it into darkness, there's still peace-loving people there's no there's no fucking chaos right blackout new york city and see what happens right blackout new york city and then and 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 you'll have to have an army of police stopping stopping fucks from looting marcus conte reporting